In the next part of the story about John Constantine, one of Keanu Reeves' interesting characters, Constantine faces the most powerful demon. Constantine, an exorcist and hero in the DC Universe, showed us how someone condemned to hell could seek redemption and salvation. Constantine is an anti-hero who uses unconventional methods to confront evil, even facing angels and demons. I would come up here to collect myself. Mm -hmm. So I've heard. Recent news about the sequel hints at two new entities more powerful than Lucifer that Constantine will have to stop to save the world. In this video, we'll discuss Constantine's story and what we can expect in the sequel. To understand these new demonic entities and who might appear in the movie, let's go back to the beginning. The story begins with John Constantine, a cynical demon hunter with a tormented life. He can perceive and communicate with beings from the spiritual plane, a power that led to a difficult life, including a teenage suicide attempt that condemned him to hell. Constantine operates as an exorcist in Los Angeles, battling the forces of darkness. Despite his selfish motivation to escape hell, Constantine is known for sending demons back. The plot unfolds as he retrieves a powerful artifact, the Spear of Destiny, from a demon trying to cross over to Earth, all while dealing with his own impending death from terminal cancer. The movie begins with Constantine trying to avoid his journey to hell. In the midst of a plan to end the world, Constantine finds himself entangled in a complex plot. Angela Dodson, a police detective investigating her twin sister Isabel's mysterious death, becomes a key figure in the unfolding events. Angela, portrayed by Rachel Weisz, collaborates with Constantine as she believes her sister, a devout Catholic, wouldn't have committed suicide and condemned herself to hell. Throughout the film, Constantine employs his supernatural skills to explore various aspects of the supernatural world, even journeying to hell itself, which shocks many. Interactions with characters like the archangel Gabriel, the demon Balazar, and Lucifer himself unveil an intricate hierarchy and delicate balance between heaven and hell with earth as the battleground. The movie introduces the concept of balance, a fundamental rule preventing direct intervention by angels and demons in human affairs. Instead, they influence through half-breeds, hybrids of humans and celestial or infernal beings. Constantine uncovers a conspiracy to disrupt this balance, orchestrated by collaborating angels and demons. The climax centers on Mammon, Lucifer's son, attempting to be born into the human world using Angela's body and the Spear of Destiny to create a portal. Constantine, along with allies like Chaz Kramer and Papa Midnight, faces this challenge in a dramatic showdown at a psychiatric hospital, the location of Isabel's death. In a sacrificial act at the film's conclusion, Constantine tries to thwart Mammon and Gabriel, the manipulators behind the plan. Gabriel, discontent with humanity, wanted hell to come to earth, believing it would make humans worthy of salvation from God. Constantine's sacrifice leads to a direct confrontation with Lucifer, resulting in the defeat of Mammon and the redemption of Elizabeth, who is taken to heaven. The film ends with Constantine's sacrificial act bringing about a resolution to the complex events, showcasing redemption, sacrifice, and a dramatic encounter with supernatural forces. In the second part of Constantine's story, after receiving a second chance at life, Lucifer cures him of his illness to prevent him from going to heaven. This sets the stage for a potential sequel. In 2011, director Francis Lawrence expressed interest in creating a darker and scarier follow-up, and in 2020, Guillermo del Toro planned a movie featuring DC Comics' supernatural characters, including John Constantine. Keanu Reeves, in 2019 and 2021, expressed interest in reprising his role. In 2020, Peter Stormare announced on Instagram that a sequel was in the works, but Warner Brothers didn't confirm anything at the time. In September 2022, it was reported that Warner Brothers would develop a sequel with Reeves and Lawrence returning and Akiva Goldsman as the screenwriter. The film would be part of DC Elseworlds, distinct from the DC Universe. Lawrence updated in 2023 that after a screenwriter strike, he, Reeves, and Goldsman were working on the story. According to Constantine's story, there are three fallen angels, Lucifer and two others. The second fallen angel, 
created by God to keep Lucifer in check, eventually fell as well. Rumors suggest that the sequel may feature this second fallen angel, who is considered stronger than Lucifer in the comics. In the comics, Constantine, facing lung cancer, sold his soul to all three fallen angels to avoid a conflict between them. This clever move healed him without risking a battle for his soul. In the movie universe, Constantine could confront this second fallen angel, known for its unstable and amorphous form. This demon is cautious and strategic, advising against disputes that could weaken hell. There's speculation that Constantine II is in pre-production and might start filming soon, with a potential theater release in late 2025 or 2026. A teaser trailer could be expected in the middle of this year. There's also a surprising theory suggesting a crossover with other superheroes in the DC Universe, similar to what happened in the Flash series. Constantine might collaborate with other characters, although some prefer the movie to stay in its own universe. The anticipation for the second Constantine movie is high, and fans are eager to see how the story unfolds. Constantine 2 has recently received an update from producer Lorenzo Di Bonaventura. The movie, part of DC Elseworlds, is in development at DC Studios. Although John Constantine has not been officially announced as one of the DC Universe's canon characters, the Hellblazer is set to return to the big screen. Keanu Reeves, who first portrayed DC's Hellblazer in 2005's Constantine, has been persistent in his efforts to get Constantine 2 made. In an interview with ComicBook.com, Lorenzo Di Bonaventura expressed his hopes for the project to move forward, emphasizing the uniqueness of the character. He drew a comparison between John Constantine and Madame Web, a character from his latest superhero film venture. Di Bonaventura highlighted the singularity of both characters, indicating the appeal of their distinctive traits. Constantine II is currently in development as a DC Elseworlds movie, indicating that Reeves' version of the character will not be part of James Gunn's new DC Universe. The movie is expected to take into account Reeves' age, portraying an older John Constantine. The decision to make it an Elseworlds movie has raised expectations, with Gunn emphasizing the need for the story to be something special outside of the regular continuity. Furthermore, Constantine II is set to be a truly R-rated movie, providing creative freedom to explore a darker and more supernatural storyline. The original Constantine received an R rating, but director Francis Lawrence revealed that it was initially developed as a PG-13 film due to the studio's request. Now, with no constraints from the larger DC Universe and the freedom to embrace a darker tone, Constantine II has the potential to deliver the story that fans have been anticipating. Fans can expect a portrayal of an older John Constantine in Constantine II, offering a new perspective on the character's journey. Keanu Reeves, who had been dedicated to reprising his role, has successfully pushed for the development of the sequel. The movie's Elseworlds approach indicates a departure from the main DC Universe, allowing for creative storytelling without being bound by established continuity. The decision to make Constantine II an R-rated movie is a significant shift from the studio's initial approach with the original Constantine. Director Francis Lawrence revealed that the first film was initially developed as a PG-13 movie due to studio requests. With the freedom to embrace a darker and more mature tone, Constantine II can delve deeper into the supernatural elements of the character and deliver a more authentic experience for fans. As Constantine II continues its development, Fans eagerly anticipate more updates on the storyline, cast, and release date. Keanu Reeves' dedication to the character, combined with the creative freedom afforded by the Elseworlds concept, sets the stage for a unique and compelling sequel. With the promise of an R-rated mature storyline, Constantine II aims to meet the expectations of fans who have been waiting for the return of DC's Hellblazer to the big screen. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.